Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. <laughs> Why do we got tape on our hands? <laughs> you didn't take yours off? No. We're doing chilling and grilling. <laughs> with, with no thumbs. No thumbs, baby. No. Challenge extension. No, seriously, I'm not doing that. No, well, Never yeah. mind. Tom, can you help me? I guess. A little help. We just did a challenge. Ah! <laughs> I think you have good. He's thinking. That's it. Like a band-aid, Tom. That's how you do it. Right he's there. Trying, he's trying to make you hurt. No, he's trying not to make. Oh, that was knuckle hair. Oh, that's <laughs> your own fault for having it. Yeah, Joe. Joe got carried away on me. Larry's got it. fingernail hair. It's so much fingernail. <laughs> ah, yo, <laughs> dude. <laughs> he slid down there. Everybody saw it. Yeah, was right. there hair on there? Yeah. <laughs> He did it again. I made a miscalculator. All right. Oh, it's nice to have a thumb. You know, a thumb is an important appendage. It's very important. <laughs> but such a keep start from a lot of other animals. That feels so much better. It's so much more comfortable, right? One-handed. Oh, this is going to hurt. Anyway, guys. Hey, shout out today. Unfortunately, are you done yet? Just go. Unfortunately, Ow. we had a little problem. The problem is Joe wasn't even here, so nobody shout that gave anything for you. No, well, I wasn't. It's not that I wasn't here. I was here waiting for everybody. They were in North Carolina. They didn't tell me. Second, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> just sitting outside on the porch. Second of all, Tom didn't get any, right? That's what I don't think so. Me. And if I did, then they got lost because yeah. for some reason my tweets reset. And third of all, I did get at least three. That could have been one for each of us. And uh, he's not good with his phone. They, you guys, got to stop giving them so early to me because it's like. I lose them. Take I, a I, picture I, of him. You got a little beard hair there. It's like, do something with that thing. Just relax. Don't worry about my beard hair. You worry about your phone. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> but no, ser seriously, I I lose them because I get too many tweets. So I lose the the you tweet. You throw it in our face all the time, not popular. Either. No, it's not. It ain't that. <laughs> The they, earliest we filmed show films was on Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> so the closer you send it to Wednesday yeah. evening, and I thought better. we mentioned that before, though. But you I'm have. Like, I thought I had. We have, but it doesn't I remember because I've also been getting some tweets about, "Can I have a shout out?" No, <laughs> you can't have a shout out unless you do the chilling and growing meal, and it has to be, you know, like this one. We're doing Reuben sandwiches. Oh, now, Rubens. if you did didn't use corned beef and you, you used turkey Reuben. Right, you could do that. That's fine and everything. Or if you don't use sour cream, you don't like to do hot pastrami. Good enough. Exactly. Um, and we're also going to do use the panini press too. That's exciting. Yes. Yeah, so, like I said, you got to make that meal. Take a picture with yourself with that meal and send it to us. And please wait until at least at the earliest. Don't send it to me before Tuesday. At the earliest. At, well, the, but then what's the latest? The latest would be, Wednesday. I'd say Wednesday. <laughs> Around five. After, after, I would say four. Four, four. o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. EST. Okay. So between Tuesday and Wednesday, get that picture to me. Yeah. Not, you can take it whenever. Just don't send it to me until right then. I, I, I can't be Or mad. send it to people like me who have like yeah, one seventh of it. Yeah, so he'll, he'll be able to um, save it right away. Plus he knows how to screen save, right? So yeah, you got that I'm, going for you. Yeah, I have that. That's the one they have going for me. I can screen save a picture. I know how to do that. But I can't screen save a tweet where. I put this a string right here. That's it. All right, whatever. Whose is that? Well, that's not mine. I know who is it. That looks like my wife's. It's Tom. It's not mine. That's look at my hair, dude. How's Tom's hair, you know? It's uncomfortable now. Yeah. I'm so awkward. Then you come from work. I definitely came from work. Yeah. Do you have anybody at work with that kind of hair? Definitely not. So anyway, Reuben sandwiches. We're making Reuben sandwiches. So anyway, guys, grab yourself something cold to drink so you can watch us, us work, work, and cook some Reuben sandwiches and teach you. And it's very simple, so it's an easy. And it's a good do. sandwich. There you go. Here we go. And now we're going to go over the list of ingredients that we're going to need. It's not really a list. We're just going to go over the ingredients. <laughs> Pizza cake, Swiss cheese, corned beef. Can you use any type of cheese? I don't know a Reuben, I think it's Swiss cheese. I mean, I guess That's technically you could, too. but the Reuben calls for Swiss cheese. Um, you can use turkey instead of corned beef if you like. Some people like to do that. And then we have softened butter. I say softened because you want it to be soft, or you can use like country crock or any kind of because vegetable. Because you're spreading it on bread. And if, yeah, and you want to grill it. If you ever try to spread hard butter on bread, that's a pain in the... In the butter. And we also have... Sauerkraut! Nice. Do you like sauerkraut? I do. I love sauerkraut. Tom, you like sauerkraut? Not really. There's always one in the crowd. Always one. 
So we got some French dress in here. <laughs> we, we, what is it? Oh, we have some Thousand Island dress in here. And uh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Thousand uh, Island. It's almost like French. Yeah. It thousand looks like French. French from the back, right? It's just different. Well, wee wee. <laughs> wee, wee wee. No, it's Thousand Island. Exactly. Wee wee. Anyway, we have um, some rye bread here. And we have a loaf of Tuscan. That's, that's all it's called, Tuscan. It's called Tuscan loaf. Tuscan loaf. Okay, so we're gonna try this. I've never had this bread before. No, it looks really it good. Be and to be honest with you, it looks like it could be a bigger sandwich. But and, and the reason why we have two different ones is usually it's on rye bread. It right? is. That's but what I don't. For. I don't like rye bread. How do you not like rye bread? I don't like it, dude. Like don't wheat? judge me. Why, why are you, you so judging aggressive, me? man? Why you, I told you I'm salty. Man, spend remember? A week, spend a week with in laws. You see, I'm salty. You see, salty. Anyway, I want the Tuscan bread. My shirt's blue, and I'm happy. My shirt's blue too. But you're and not I'm happy. blue. And blue. All right. Anyway, so. Do you have a dog? Yo, know, this is my beer. This is my beer. I had the brand new koozie I used. There's only a sip left in mine. So I thought I had that up in mine too. There's no well, lime in mine. I mean, that's pretty. There's no lime in this one. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. I was close. I yeah, was, yours was brand new. My ass. I was close to catching something. No, I was close to catching something. Not for me. Anyway, anyway let's get started. Alright, so what we have is the sauerkraut in a pot and we're going to warm that up. So I'm going to constantly be stirring this stuff to make sure that it gets all the way warm throughout this. And Joe, in the meantime, he is getting the corned beef. Just in warmed there. up. Warm we're not cooking it because obviously it's lunch meat. It doesn't need to be cooked. Right. We're just getting it nice and just warmed up. Then we're going to put it all to the side and then we'll build the sandwiches later. Do you know why we're doing this, guys? It's because you don't want to put it in the panini press and then it's cooking the outside, but the inside will be cold. That's no good. Right. You want a warm sandwich all the way through. All the way so through. This is what you start out with. And why this is going, I'm going to turn the flame down a little bit so I can start cutting the bread up. And slicing that and butter it up yep. so that we get right. Piece of bread stuck in my throat. Jeez. Oh, beer went up my nose. Son of a bitch. A mess. Over here, we're just. Yo, you're filming the whole time, Tom? Really? All right. Well, this will be good for a second year anniversary. Yeah. I'm cutting the bread while Joe's over there slaving over the stove. Anyway, you want to make these about three quarters of an inch wide like so and I know I'm having this type of bread uh, Tom do you know what kind you're having yet not at all I don't think I particularly care <laughs> Tom doesn't care it looks really good though I mean that bread looks really good yeah um, I know my wife wants um, rye bread she loves rye bread so I'm gonna make one for her, what does your, what do you think your wife is gonna want, Joe? Um, probably rye bread. Oh, just a little secret for you guys. All the times that we were doing this before and we were not, like, letting you guys know about that, that my wife was here, we had to secretly, like, make another plate and not show you guys there and were take times it to her. There were extra plates were all there. It was, uh, just, I forget, there's been times extra plates have been there, but. Yeah. My wife also, we make sandwiches for her as well. Yes. So we, we kind of, we try to feed everybody so nobody gets mad about this. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to have to, I know that she wants rye bread. I, I cut this up, Joe, um, so that we can make this. You still don't know. I'm going to cut the rye bread up now. That looks good. Yeah. And, uh, and you can pick whichever one you want, Joe. Well, lean towards the non-traditional. Non-traditional? Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, you guys have all saw us do the chilling and grilling at Cavanaugh's. That was, well, now I'm going way back. Oh, yeah, that was, But that's where I used to work. And oh, I, you mean when there was two dudes getting food? Yeah, remember that show? Are you sad about that? I think we can only bring that back every now and again. I think people would like to see it. Could be. So here's the rye bread. I'm going to change the subject so I don't cry anymore. I'm going to cut this on an angle because this loaf is not very big. So I'm going to... I'm gonna cut cut it on an angle like this so that the sandwiches are gonna be, Joe said, that's what she said when I said, it's not very big. That was kind of funny. So, 
Because there's not a lot of people that, that want the rye bread, obviously, that I just heard. Oh, they're nice size. This is a nice size piece. So we got two sandwiches of rye. Is that is that good or should I get try to get through? I mean, through? Right, you just cut the rest of it up while you have it there. Yeah, but there's not a whole lot. Like the sandwiches are going to get smaller as I cut yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I think the two there would be good. All right, you we got, we got, we got right? look, we got three. Yeah, we're good. We got three sandwiches there. So anyway, that's how you cut them. If you want bigger slices, even though even though it was kind of a skinny roll, cut it on an angle, you get longer slices. See, got some decent sandwiches there, right? That's it. All right, so we got plenty of bread going. I'm gonna butter this, Joe, and then we can get that going with the cheese. And I got also got to put some French dressing. I mean, Thousand Island dressing on it. I butter your bread. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, you ready to assemble now? <laughs> I'm ready. So we're gonna do it right on the panini. Uh, this is everything's heated up. We're gonna assemble it right on there. And I buttered one side, and I put right. put some spread on the other side of the uh, Thousand Island. Right. So you want to get the the spreads on there. Okay. The yep, meat. Get, get the meat on there. And remember, you got to make that last for. Well, the sandwiches so don't get carried away. You need me to, uh, no, not let me. Yeah, get I want to get some coleslaw, or coleslaw, yeah. <laughs> now, it's funny you say see that, coleslaw. See, that's what happens though, you spill it all over the place. But that's what you want. It, it's going to make a mess. These hamburgers are not... That looks good, that much? That looks perfect. I'm going to throw a piece of cheese around top. Piece of Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, yeah, right. Swiss cheese is very important to, to mention. And then we need more Thousand Island. Okay, got you covered. Where is it at? It's over here. More French you. dressing, please. I got you. I need Thousand Island. So we're going to pour a little bit in there, I can't see yeah, it. We already have some more in there, so you just want to spread it a little bit on top just to make it kind of even. There you go. A little bit more than that probably. Right. Perfect. There you go. Spread that on there like that. And you want to match up the size of the bread so that it's not uneven. You want to cook one at a time or two at a time? We're going to two at a time. Whoa, we're tricky today. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not messing around here. So again, this is a big ass sandwich, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna be the greatest sandwich yeah, ever. You didn't put cheese on the bottom of that one. Yeah, I know that one's gonna be mine because I messed up. I caught that. I'm sure, everybody else did. Yep. All right, there we go. We got the corned beef on there. Oops. What type of bread is this again? This is this rye. is rye. Right. Put some sauerkraut on there. Yeah, sauerkraut it up. Me and Joe, we were already talking about this, man. We we really think we should open. So there's a, a deli, a deli up for something. rent, yeah. right down the river from where, where I used to actually work at. Yeah. Um, and I think you're gonna put cheese on top of that too. Remember? Yeah, yeah. You get that? Yeah, you get the cheese. I think that we would kill it with making sandwiches like yeah. this. Daily specials for soups. This might be, you know, in the, the future chili. sometime. You never know. We either chill and grill and live from there. Sell yeah. juggy shirt merchandise from there. The hat. It's a chill and grill aprons. Well, whatever you guys chilling make. Chill and grill shirts. Chill and grill shirts. You guys there do you the go. aprons, the hats. They didn't even hear me. You want to make sure the bread is facing. It sounded like Joe said druggy shirts. Druggy shirts. You know the druggy shirts. Well, Joe does have a problem. <laughs> and All right, and then here, right, put a little pressure on that. Bada bing, bada bing. Uh, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada bing. Um, what are you messing it up for? Bada bing, bada boom. Is this your beer? No, that's not oh, star. Right. This is my beer. So you sit back, you have a beer. Oh, I should get plates for you. <laughs> that's kind of important, isn't it? It's nice to have a pizza press. I don't have one at home. I want to let you guys know that, you know, we're making a lot of sandwiches because I have to, like I said, I have to feed my wife. Um, we're going to take her hers first, and then there'll be another one there. And uh, well, we'll wrap my wife's up. And we will. We'll wrap it up and bring it home for her because. And, uh, and then we'll have ours. But that's what you do right there until that gets happy nice life, and. Happy life. Nice and grill marks on that. And yeah, you got to get nice cheese and is melted crunchy on perfectly it. and everything. And, it's going to be delicious, guys. Rubens are really good. I'm excited about it. All right, guys, these are just about done here. Oh, oh. how does this work, Larry? You just all right. Here we go. Difficult. All right, this one's Tom's. It's got no sauerkraut on it, so that's it's got one piece of sauerkraut, Tom. I came off from the grill. All right, so what you want to do with this, guys, is on an angle cut it because it always looks better on an angle, and then it's all about presentation. Remember that always, right? Take that, put it like that. Grab some chips, put that on the plate, like that, and then the next one. That's me and mine. All right, and so we'll get yours on now. Same thing. Cut that on. <laughs> so I have these two plated right now, 
This is Tom's because he didn't want any uh, sauerkraut on it, and this is mine. I'm just gonna put these down there while Joe's preparing the next two, and we're almost ready to eat. Yes, sir. What are those for your wife? Yes. Tell you, I made that one super good for the wife. Right, let me get the coleslaw or the coleslaw. Why do I say coleslaw? That's, uh, that's from a cold pastrami sandwich. It's just like a Reuben, but with. Um, Did you already put some on? On this one, yeah. Well, I thought we put it on top. Doesn't matter. It's all melted cheese on on the bottom and top. It's all that matters, you right? You can't change it. A little extra. Yeah. And <laughs> it's all good, dude. These sandwiches, I mean, I wish that, that you guys could smell what's going on in here. Yeah, it smells everything. really ridiculously good. It's so hot in here, too. I'm sweating. That's why the, the camera's having problems right now. Yeah, that last heat. that last take had a really abrupt cut. It's because something... Because we hot. figured out that when it cuts out randomly, it's not random, it's because something in it gets too hot. It is really yeah. hot in here, to be honest with you. It is, I'm sweating. All right, so you were saying... Coleslaw now, or everything's on this. No, put on the. You on mean the sauerkraut? Beef. Yeah, I got him saying coleslaw now. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of them are cabbage, you know. That is true. Sauerkraut. Oh, man, I, it's like I always spill like half of it on the. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. This is the last one. It is, does to the person who has to clean this crap up. Wait, what? Tom. <laughs> Which obviously isn't me because I don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's going to have the cheese on there. And then he's put his dressing on that side, put them on the press. And then that's it, and we're and ready that's to eat, it. man. If you guys don't have a panini press, if you guys remember what I said last time, you can get a, um, a hot skillet, right? And just um, put, get it really hot, right? And then put another one on top of it and press it down. Or, but you can just eat yeah, like see, a grilled cheese sandwich too, where you exactly just grill right. like a grilled cheese and flip it over. At a grill, uh, at, when I worked at Cavanaugh's, we only had a flat top grill, so you just grill the bread, melt the cheese on top of it, the sandwich, and then put it on top of it, and it's a grilled, right, like a grilled right. cheese. Exactly. Same exact thing you would do here. How the opinion press makes everything a little bit better. Exactly. Because it's a nice crunch to it. Put a little pressure on that. A little pressure. Yeah, like flat it down. Like not, that? Not too flat, but. Look, what? No, that's perfect. Keep me all pumped up and push perfect. hard. That's perfect. It's like a workout though, right? I feel like I worked out today. Yeah. I worked out in my week. All right, so again, we cut these like on an angle. Oh, Ow, yourself. This shit is hot. You look depressed, dude. <sighs> hot off the press. <laughs> I was just about to say that. I beat you. Turn on the angle like that. It always put it like that. That looks so much better than yeah, if you you're just. Right. You got it for better. Yeah. And throw some chips there. Right. Put that aside. Next one up. Actually, it's, right? like a, it's, it's like a short order cook here, guys. Well, you're working, dude. You want to put that down? Yeah, I got it. Ow! 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 Yo, you alright? Ow! Ow! You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I just burnt myself. Burnt a little shirt. What the hell? And your ankle. I broke my ankle. I had told you I had weak ankles, dude. It's not a thing. It's a thing. Google it. The important parts are all right. I'm fine, man. I'm embarrassed. And I'm sorry about your carpet. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm sorry, man. You right, man? I'm fine. I am fine. No, I'm looking at you. You got cheese on. Yeah, that's great. I mean, my... This is ridiculous. Can you yeah. cut it? I mean, this is... <laughs> no, I don't want to be helped up. I want to take a second to revel in my glory on the freaking floor of your living room. You're dead. It's not even your living room. Oh man, I, look at that sandwich. I, well, I, that's why I get to wear flip flops, dude. I have weak ankles. Yeah, right though, right? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. I wanna get that shirt in the wash. <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh gosh, who's eating that sandwich? Well, I pressed it with my chest. That's so embarrassing. That's, That's so like, embarrassing. I guess your wife's not getting one. Oh, it's so embarrassing. All right, well, you know what? We're going to just do it like this, Joe. We're going to have... You got it all over everything. I have extra bread over there. We'll cook another one right before the end. And, okay. And then, you know, after this yeah, video yeah, is we'll over, over and then you can take one home, all right? I'm well, putting my shirt to take home over. That's ridiculous. A little shout it out. I don't have any shit. We got some. I have non-detergent. Yeah, detergent. What? Fragrance-free detergent. Well, um, so I had babies. Can you take that off for the outro though? 
Take this off? No, your shirt. Let's yeah, yeah, I have a t-shirt underneath. Yeah. That's not best thing I can take the apron off. Now I gotta wash this shit. Well, yeah, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, dude. What are you sorry for? Because I ruined your carpet. I mean, and it's embarrassing. Yeah, like, it's not... Garfunkel throws up on that all the time. So my face is very throw up. That makes me feel better. <laughs> it was probably. Alright, anyway, guys. <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna put that in the video or not, because we don't know what you know how I feel about it. How yeah. I mean, whatever, dude. So we can just we can cut that out or whatever. So um <laughs> Right, you, I mean, like I didn't quite catch it like as soon as it happened, but like I could see like when his foot just kind of went. Yeah. I go well, my ankle. Dude, I'm telling you, I was I my this is an issue going on my entire life. It's no no big deal. I I know. So anyway, let's get down and uh, fin finish up the. Uh, yeah, great. Let's get video. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this looks really good though. I'll carry this one. My bad, dude. I feel like an a hole. All right, guys, dig in. So you're gonna say now for the best part? It is the best part. It is. How do I get a big, giant leaf for sauerkraut? It's good, man. Mm. I love peanut press. Mm -hmm. You can do so many different kinds of sandwiches with that thing. I bet. What do you guys think? I think it's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Tom? I think it tastes kind of falls flat. <laughs> it's very funny. No, the sandwich is good. It's very funny. I didn't get it. Now I just did. Ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, guys, remember, try this meal out. You don't have a panini press, doesn't matter. You do it like a grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. um, take a picture of yourself with it so we can give you a shout out. Remember, Tuesday in the Wednesday about four o'clock ish Eastern perfect Standard time. time is is perfect for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember no hate needed just love. Don't forget to subscribe to Joe's channel. Right, it'll be in the description, right? Yes. Yes. And Here's also seven. his Twitter too, but most importantly his YouTube. Yes. Don't forget to hit the like button also. Till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge. That was early. Way early. We went one, two, and three. Nobody was on time there. So who was right? Probably the one in the middle. <laughs> Probably. <Yeah. laughs> who is two thumbs and was right? This guy right here. <laughs> Get it? Two thumbs? Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I have two thumbs also. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm sternum hurts. <laughs>